only who is he? Who cares about him? He, all he does is play basketball. In the, in the world, he's this big. Yeah. This big? Oh, no. Nah, bro, bro, I want something, bro. You too wind up back in another video. Hey man, how y'all feeling today, man? You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling good, man. I got another Larry Bird video for y'all. Best Larry Bird revenge story ever told. Now, I don't know what's what's in this video. I didn't even know Larry, B Larry Bird had a revenge story. You know what I'm saying? So we about to tune into this. But before we tune into this, make sure y'all subscribe, comment what y'all want to see, like the video. And let's get straight into it. Charles Barkley had a handwritten letter delivered to Bill Lambeer before playing a game against him. And it said, Dear Bill, f you. Sincerely, Charles Barkley. Wait, what did, what did uh, Bill do to Charles? Type of, hey, what? We about to find out. And as one might expect, they got into a fist fight that game. And now Barkley gets into it and he is. And now oh shit. And when Robert Parrish, who got into a fight with Lambeer three years in a row, was questioned about Bill Lambeer, he said, I was always taught, if you can't say something nice about someone, then don't say anything at all. So, I'm saying nothing at all. Hey man, that's, that, hey, that's the old saying right there. Bro. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say it, bro. Why, why would you even say it, bro? Let's live a positive, peaceful world, you know what I'm saying? Keep all the negative energy somewhere else, man. But nobody hated Bill Lambeer more than Larry Bird. I you never uh, really ever liked Lambeer in any social situation. No. Yeah. And uh, it's because he was a dirty player. The 80s when I played, mm. there was a lot of cheap shots. If you go back and watch the Pistons playing against Chicago, I mean, oh Michael and Scotty were yeah, getting yeah. pounded. And a lot of it happened after the whistle. Like mm -hmm. you're going in and you get fouled and the guy goes ahead and tries to that's a free foul. Oh, hold on. Yeah, Bill, damn. Hey, you a pretty dirty player, bro. I, ain't, I knew about the bad boys in Jordan, you feel me? But I didn't know he did this to everybody and their mama. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't know this. But Larry Bird, too, he was a trash talker. The, the best trash talker there is. Like, what? Bro, you can't, you can't, like, karma, man. You know what I'm saying? Ricky Mahorn. He'd hit you and all that, but he'd hit you, you know, you know you're going to get hit. Yeah. But he didn't try to <clears throat> maim you. Right. Bill tried to hurt you. Got it back, so they reset it at five. Lambeer walked with it, then committed a foul, knocked Bird to the floor. Celtics are very unhappy about it. Oh, I don't know about yeah, this. Yeah, caught Bird in the jaw. Yeah. And Larry's a little upset. And, uh, you know, he was one of them guys, you shoot a jumper, he tries to slide his foot underneath your ankle so you twist your ankle on. That's why Parrish always really used to do that. If you watch any of our old games, Parrish was always twisting his ankle against the Pistons. So one time I shot a jumper and Lambert did it to me, and I stepped on his foot, but I stepped on a hide and twist my ankle. I don't know, a quarter or two later, he was shooting that jumper. I slid mine on there. That's the last time he ever did it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and when Bill Lambert was called the NBA's dirtiest player by Michael Jordan, Lambert oh, hold on. Yes, indeed. Hold on. He responded in a way that really showed his true colors. Michael Jordan. Wait, everybody want to scrap with Bill, Bill Lambeer, bro? Bad boys for life, man, me personally. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta represent my city, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it, but, hey, Bill, we're not here to hurt everybody, you know what I'm saying? We have, we're here to have a good time, you know what I'm saying? Play the game, win some chips, you know what I'm saying? But I see he, I see he, he attacking everybody. What's going on? What, what's up with all this anger and, and what's up? may be a very good outstanding basketball player but as a individual down-to-earth heart person he he has only who is he who cares about him he all he does is play basketball in the, in the world he's this big yeah this big oh no nah, bro bro on something bro there's no way he just said he's this big bro <laughs> what human are what type of human are you birdie hold on why, hey what Bro, the negativity in the air, man. Chill out, man. I can see why Chill everybody out. liked him. And during the 1986 season, Bird asked a group of reporters if Lambeer, who had been an all-star the last three years with the Pistons, had made the team again. <clears throat> and when he heard Lambeer was not selected, Larry Bird said, good. Now I won't have to worry about him getting on the bus and saying, 
hi larry and me having to say F you bill damn but that year they would still see each other in the playoffs i was always the one that came out first there's always a leprechaun out on the floor i go out and spit right on the leprechaun rub my foot in it and then go down and make a big dunk away we went the Yo. tension was obviously high what and in the? one game robert Parrish said i feel like lambeard took some cheap shots at me i guarantee something will break out if they let it go next time and though nothing happened the rest of that series the very next year they met again in the eastern conference finals and in game four it got crazy and open people see sting larry Bird wants to see that fight happen <clears throat> Larry Bird wanted to see that fight happen. Did y'all see? Did y'all see him? Bro did not attempt to grab his teammate at all. He hated Bill. He hated. I'm surprised he didn't jump in for real. And in 24 seconds, Damn. Wait, wait a minute. Whoa. Crazy. And open people. See Sting. And in 24 oh my seconds, God. Down and Bird and Lambeer go at it. Bird and Bill Lane Beer have both been ejected from the game. Damn. Now it is Bird. Then he... <laughs> Bro, he threw the ball at his head. Hold on. Beer have both been ejected from the game. Now it is Bro, Bird he throwing the ball, ball at Lane Beer and Rodman coming over. Larry Bird said, Lane Beer was backing away from me and didn't want any part of me. I wish they would have cleared the court for about 15 minutes and just let us go at each other. And Bill Lambeer, in classic Bill Lambeer fashion, he said, I didn't do a thing. I tried to grab hold of him to break his fall, and Larry came up swinging. I was victimized. And Larry mm. Bird responded, sure, he wasn't trying to hurt me. And I was trying to throw the ball at the referee. Bill's face just got in the way. Wow. That's a good move. That's a good move. I see what Larry Bird did there, but um, I ain't gonna lie, Bill. <clears throat> you tried to hurt him. It's it's all it's all in, in the footage. You know what I'm saying? You didn't really try to to break his fall. It's it's no way possible. Cause first of all, you brought him down with you, man. You 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 you. <laughs> that's what you did. Like it's it's all there, bro. Like it's no way of 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 not getting past that, bro. I'm sorry, it's not. When you play the same team four, five, six, seven times right in a row within the space of about two weeks. It's got to be bad tempo. Our ball club, I always feel, were retaliators, not instigators. And I think the other team, like Detroit, they are the instigators. And in that next game... No, no, no. We're not instigators. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to just clear that up right now. I'm going to keep it real. We're talking. My reaction is to be real. We ain't no instigators. You know what I'm saying? We, we the real deal. We the bad boys. That's what y'all, hey, y'all gotta understand, bro. We the bad boys. We, we, do, we, we play defense, whether you like it or not. When Bill Lynn Beer tried to come out and shake Larry Bird's hand, Larry looked at Bill and said, Go f yourself. I always have respect <laughs> for my opponents, Larry said. But in my instance, I think Lynn Beer was trying to hurt me. So in game five, the Celtics got their revenge. I was at the game. And the crowd just had so much hatred for Lambeer for that game. I've never felt, I've never been in any sort of a sporting event where the crowd hated a player that much. And I still am convinced to this day that the crowd convinced Parrish to punch him in the second quarter. Oh, no question. Very gingerly tried to shoot that shot. Nice play by Darren Day. It doesn't fall. The tip by Parrish. He can't get it to fall. And Parrish takes Wait, wait, no. Nah. The footage ain't even show. Did he intentionally, like, punch him? Darren Day, it doesn't fall. Oh, he did. He to the ground with a right forearm. Well, they had said it was only a matter of time. To... Hey, hold on. S hey, sit, sit, sit down, Brody. Ain't got nothing to do with you. Somebody did this. Land beer. He had it coming. That's, I, you know, <laughs> he had it coming. Because you, you watched the replay, and it was like barely he did anything. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, bro. Lambeer definitely had it coming. I, I'm gonna just be honest, bro. Like, he he twisting ankles. He he throwing people to the ground. He he starting fights, bro. It's only a matter of time, bro. When they gonna come get you? I ain't gonna lie. It's only a matter of time, bro. They've been talking about it. Pretty sure they was on a bus, planning on on taking you down, Brody. 
it is what it is. But as bad boys, you know what I'm saying? We got to defend ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah Thomas got to come through. Joe Dumars got to come through. We all got to come through, man. It happened two plays before. The cameras just got the part where Robert got mad, see? But nobody saw Lambeer's elbow that hit him in the neck right by the Adam's apple. Ooh, and all he did was react because people are sick and tired of this guy with the baby face putting his hands up all the time. Who, me? Meanwhile, he'll, he'll suck a punch you. He'll do everything in the game. So as I said once before, it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Yeah, I'm kind of looking over my shoulder, Max. I thought I don't get sucker punched, to be honest. <laughs> you know, in the heat of the battle, you know, we, we had changed a few uh, unpleasant trees, then a few elbows that passed between us, and then I just lost my throw of punches. So I couldn't believe I, I composed you like that. That was the first time ever. This play epitomized 80s basketball because not only did this flurry of punches result in no ejections and no technicals, but they didn't even call a foul. What? <clears throat> now how they'll be on that? See that? See the 80s basketball was something different, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> the 80s basketball was something different. But um, where's the refs at? I don't see no ref in sight, man. And then the quality is kind of bad. I don't don't worry about the quality. You know what I'm saying? We in the 80s. But Hey man, he gotta just look back at it is what it is, man. Let's get let's get back to it. They just kept playing. Larry Bird called it a good deed. Mm. But sometimes, in the words of the great Frank Sinatra, the best revenge is massive success. Because later on that game, Larry Bird made the greatest play of his entire career. We knew we had to win that game. Both teams knew that whoever won game five was probably going to win the series. Casey had to play the starters almost the whole game. And so our guys were just completely worn out. There's Bird off the screen from the corner. Big basket by Larry Bird. That's a two-pointer. Detroit by three with a minute 13. And Bird has 36. The Celtics had been to the finals in 84, 85, 86. And now it's 87. We're all beat up. The guys that are playing are hurt. Um, so, you know, it was just guts. It was just a guts and pride. 341 to go in the game. Detroit leading by two. And that man is playing on nothing but heart. He went oh, they didn't end oh, they injured Paris, bro. Ah, oh, they injured Paris, bro. That's crazy. One of the best big men. Went out with an ankle injury that would keep most people out of the game. Oh. Came back in, and now he's twisted it again. Now, the Boston moment, Ooh. that was a heartbreaking moment. What was heartbreaking about that moment is I had made the game-winning shot. Everybody wants to beat the Pistons. Right now, Boston is first in line in that desire. They lead by one, 27 seconds to go. But I was on Isaiah Thomas, and he went one-on-one -on -one against me at the top of the floor. I thought I played pretty good defense, and Isaiah didn't get in the pain, and he took a jump shot, a contested jump shot, and uh, it went in. Out on the top of the floor against Houston. 16 seconds. Right in his face. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He right. He played some good defense. I mean, we're not back. <clears throat> so this is the dagger. 16 seconds. This is Isaiah Thomas, bro. This is Isaiah Thomas, bro. We go to the timeout. He's shooting the midi. We know Bird's going to get it either on the left side or the, the right side. And we got the play figured out. We sent him left. About five of us come over there to try to block the shot. There's Bird with the ball against Mahomes. He'll take it to the hoop. He can bend. Let's see. Bird try to draw a foul. It's blocked. And Seasting hit it off of a Detroit player. No, no. Ball goes out of bounds. And I'll never forget everything just started. It went in slow motion. So I run over. We, we look at the bench. No timeout, nothing. <laughs> so I run over and I grab the ball. Detroit should have called a timeout, Brian, because they had a timeout left. They could advance the ball down to the other end of the floor. There's a shot somewhere. There's a photo that I saw that Chuck Daly is standing by their bench with his, with his hands up, calling timeout. Isaiah, I remember to this day, he's standing there like this to the referee. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. So I grabbed the ball from the referee. Lambeer's good foul shooter. I never had taken the ball out. I, that wasn't my... You never taking the ball out, Isaiah, bro. 
Don't tell me you about to sell a game. I see Larry Bird right here, bro. What what what, what he about to do, bro? Hold on. Thing, right? I, I I throw it up. Bird sneaks in. I didn't even see him. Bird was moving right when he was inbounding the pass. And when you look at it from a couple mm. different film angles, I mean, he, he threw it right to him on the move. And I had my back to where he was stealing the ball. So when I turned around, I was probably more shocked than anybody in the whole stadium that Bird had the ball in his hands. And this is probably one of the most incredible plays that's ever happened against me and that probably I've ever witnessed from an athletic standpoint two people being in sync bro the iq is crazy work bro first of all bill lambert is at the bottom of the pay right the block larry bird is at the free throw line isaiah thomas didn't even see that bro that's what you're telling me one of the greatest point guards ever didn't even see larry bird coming bro wow and just bird just playing every second and that's what the celtics taught us to play every second not to play 47 and a half minutes mm -hmm. but to play a full 48. and he had a smirk on it he knew the game was over and he had a, he almost had a smile on his face when they gave him the ball and he did not see bird at all but the thing wow. i remember the most is what this is the out of bounds line <laughs> That joker caught the ball, and in my mind, I'm like, okay, he going out of bounds. That hey, I ain't gonna lie, that's exactly what I thought, because he was running like, it looked like he was running full speed at, at, at that at that moment. Who did this, like a ballerina, right? And if you go back and you watch the play, that dude is on his toes. The, the, the baseline is right up under his toes. Wow. And in my mind, he must have stood there for about five seconds because every, <laughs> everything was going in slow motion in my mind, right? And then, and it's like, damn, how are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> and then DJ, out of nowhere, right? right? They are so in tune. They are so in sync. He catches the, you know, Bird hits him. He catches the basketball, lay it up. No, bro. There's no way Larry Bird pulled that off. First of all, he wasn't even nowhere. He was near Bill, but like he wasn't next to Bill, bro. So how did he get from one spot to another spot, steal the ball, pass it, make a great play to win in the playoffs? Bro, bro Larry Bird is different, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey. Hold on, let's see what else they got to say, man. Wow. I'm walking to the huddle, and as I come back out of the huddle, right, we try to take the ball out of bounds or whatever. Larry walks by and he goes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Weeks at me, right? I'm like, oh. The Celtics won that series in seven games. And when Bill Lambeer tried to shake Larry Bird's hand again, Larry just ignored it and walked straight through it. Larry Bird said, I don't like Bill Lambeer. Why should I shake his hand? Even Isaiah Thomas, who was Bill Lambeer's teammate for 11 years on the Bad Boy Pistons, had this to say about him. To tell you the truth, if I didn't know Bill, I wouldn't like him either. Mm. And when the Celtics retired Larry Bird's jersey in 1993, that hatred was still there. Thank you. This, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That, I've... Hey, I ain't gonna hang with this nothing like that to this day. That was a crazy steal. Before we get into this, bro, that was crazy, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't never really thought that Larry Bird was like a, a a a great defender with like a lot of IQ, but he was on his P's and Q's that game. He wanted to win for real, and you feel me? He had to get his revenge. I see why they titled this best revenge story. You know what I'm saying? He had to Bill and Bear mess it up for the pitching. It is what it is. If he would have played fair, maybe he would have won. You know? It never works out that way when you play a negative, you know what I'm saying? Play positive. You go in. Seems like a perfect night. I mean, except for the fact that Bill Lambeer couldn't be here. Mm. <laughs> what would you tell him if he was? 
we would probably hang him up with my <laughs> my number. <laughs> hey, Bill, probably like that though. H hang me up with your jersey, then skip it. Come on. At the end of the day, I'm sure you saw my name, so hey, it is what it is. Because back in the day, the animosity was not for show. When they hated each other, they really hated each other. And it didn't stop when they retired. They were enemies for life. I hate Larry Bird, but I respect the hell out of that man. I respect Isaiah Thomas's talent. No matter how much I hate him, yeah, I respect his game. But Bill Lambeer's hate was on another level because he didn't respect anybody, not even his own teammates. In his last Detroit Pistons practice before he retired, Lambeer elbowed the star player Isaiah Thomas and broke his rib. And when Isaiah Thomas got angry, Lambeer elbowed him again. Bill Lambeer won. Bro, what's, bro, you, you taking out your own teammates, bro? You've been teammates with Isaiah for 11 years and you want to hurt him, bro? Oh, yeah, Bill. I don't know, man. I ain't, I ain't, this is my first time hearing about you. Hey, man, you, hey, we got some, we got some talking to do, man. We got some talking to do, man. This is crazy. Once said, I don't fight. I agitate, then walk away. Why? But this time, Isaiah Thomas didn't let him walk away. Because in retaliation, Isaiah Thomas punched Bill Lambeer in the head, breaking his own hand, resulting in Isaiah being sidelined for eight weeks. Like I said, mm. I can see why nobody liked him. I don't give an inch at all on the, on the court. I don't give anybody any respect. Uh, I think that's the major problem with a lot of other players is I don't respect their game. If they happen to get in the way, well, that's not my fault. That's their fault. I make no apologies for my game. Uh, hey, really, who was hurt was Dennis, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Dennis took all that. Look, bro. Y'all worried about Larry Bird and the Bill Lambert. What about my man Dennis? Yeah, he was a tough, he was a tough soldier, but like he looked like he in pain. Ain't nobody check up on him. What's going on? But I ain't gonna lie, bro. Let's see how. I make no apologies for my game uh, throughout my career. Whatever the general public thinks about my style of play, I really could care less. You left a bad boat on the court for the most part, but not with Lambeer. I you never uh, really ever liked Lambeer in any social situation. No. Yeah. And uh, it's because he was a dirty player. Larry Bird's sitting next to you right now. Would you talk to him? Would you have a conversation with him? What would you say? I'd probably go to a different table. I said I'd rather go to another table. Is it he's really that deep? Bro, y'all like 70 years old, bro. Y'all gotta, hey, just clear it, bro. It happened in the 80s, bro. We 2023, bro. Let's let's clear this, bro. It, it's time, man. It's time. I, I don't know how y'all feel, but if I was in their shoes, I I'll just clear it and go on my life. You know what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't it ain't nothing not much we can do. It ain't nothing much more we can do. It is what it is at the end of the day. But man, to touch up on everything, bro, I ain't know Bill Lambert was like that, bro. I'm a youngin', bro. I hey, I just knew the bad boys won. You feel me? That's my team. I just knew they was on some. So it is what it is. You feel me? It was a great revenge story, you know what I'm saying? Larry Bird won. Larry Bird won. That's all we need to see. That's all we need to hear, you know? But if y'all enjoyed the video as much as I did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment what y'all want to see, Nate. Hey, we got some more Larry Bird coming. We out.